Today's video is on the problem related to the title series and this topic is from complex power series. Now in this video we have to expand sin hj by Taylor series about the point z is equal to pi i. See here very clear that f of z is given as sin hyperbolic function of z and a value is given as pi i. So according to our problem Taylor series expansion. So what is our Taylor series? Taylor series is nothing but see here f of z is equal to clearly this is f of a plus z minus a into this one is f dash of a z minus a whole square by 2 factorial into f double dash of a plus z minus a whole cube by 3 factorial into if f triple dash of a plus and so on. Clearly if you substitute f of z as sin hz clearly this will be sin hz is equal to what is a here this is pi i so this value is pi i so f of this value is pi i plus in place of a I am writing this is pi i into f dash of pi i plus this is z minus pi i whole square by 2 factorial into f double dash of pi i plus this is z minus pi i whole cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash of this value is pi i plus and so on. Clear? And now we need the values of c. Which values we need? We need the values of f of pi i, f dash of pi i, f double dash of pi i, f triple dash of pi i. And if you substitute, we'll be getting the answer. So first of all, what is this one? f of z. So f of z is nothing but sine hz. So f of z is equal to sine hz. And what is our z value here? z is nothing but pi i. So, if I substitute pi i, so for this, so this will be sin h pi i, sin h pi i. So, I'll show you, I'll show you two formula here, that is sin h pi i is equal to sin h, this one is z i is equal to, see, this is the formula, sin h i z is equal to i am bringing i outside and this will be only the trigonometric function this is i sin z so now we have to remember this formula that sin hyperbolic function of z i can be written as i times of only trigonometric function that is sin h z this hyperbolic sine function becomes only trigonometric function and i comes outside and see for this, if I bring i outside, then see this will be i times of only trigonometric function that is sine pi. What is sine pi value? 0. The value here is 0. Therefore, we got sine pi i value is equal to sine pi i value is equal to 0. So, for our substitution. And the next thing here is we have to make an another derivative for dash pi i. So, f dash of z is equal to for sin hx. So, this will be cos hz. So, this will be cos hz. So, f dash of pi i value is equal to if I substitute that is cos h. Cos h in place of z pi i. So, if I substitute pi i. Again, there is a formula that clear. It is very clear that cos hyperbolic function of z i can be written as so, this can be written as i won't come outside, only cos z comes, only trigonometric function comes out. So, this is like sin of minus theta is equal to minus sin theta, like that you remember. So, if there is minus inside, minus comes outside. So, for cos theta, cos of minus theta is equal to plus cos theta. So, if you consider i as negative sign, so the formula will be very easy. So, i sin theta minus a sine theta this is plus cos theta and this is how for z i so i won't come outside so this hyperbolic cos function will be like trigonometric function so this is how we have to remember and therefore this i 
won't come outside and this will be only the trigonometric function that is cos pi. So cos pi value is minus 1. Therefore, we got f dash of. So this is f dash of pi i value is equal to this is minus 1. So the first derivative value is minus 1. And again, I have to make a second derivative for this. So if I make a second derivative, see here f double dash of z f double dash of z is equal to for cos hx this is a sin hz and therefore f double dash of pi i remember there is there won't be any negative sign for cos hz it will be sin hz for again for sin hz it will be cos hz there are no negative signs for the hyperbolic functions and therefore this will be sin h in place of z i am writing pi i and again you consider this as a negative sign so Again, immediately negative sign comes out. So, i comes out and this, is, this will be the normal trigonometric function that is a sin pi. That will be i into 0 and again this value is 0. And therefore, we got f double dash of, see here, f double dash of pi i value is again 0. Double derivative value is 0. And if I make a triple derivative, see here, if I make a triple derivative, that is f triple dash of z is equal to, for sin hz, this will be cos hz. And again, for triple derivative, in place of z, if I write pi i, this will be cos hz i. Again, if you consider this as a negative sign, cos of minus theta is again plus cos theta. So, I will neglect this one and I will write only so, in place of z, I have to write pi i. So, this is pi i. So, I have to write only trigonometric function. So, this value is minus 1. And therefore, I got the value of f triple dash. f triple dash of pi i value as minus 1. So, clear? This value is minus 1. Therefore, clearly, so it is very clear that f of pi i value is 0. So, f of pi i value is 0 and f dash so, f dash of pi i value is minus 1 and again f double dash, see here, f double dash of uh, pi i value is 0 and f triple dash of pi i value is minus 1. So, if I substitute all these values in this f of pi i, f dash of pi i, f triple dash of, double dash of pi i, f triple dash of pi i, see, we'll be getting our answer. So, here, so what is f of z? Sin z. So, f of z is equal to sin hz is equal to f of pi i plus this value is z minus pi i into f dash of pi i plus z minus pi i whole square by 2 factorial into f double dash of pi i plus z minus pi i whole cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash of pi i plus and so on. So, if I keep on substituting all the values, then that will be the final answer. Then sin hz is equal to what is f of pi i? This value is 0. And this value, this is plus z minus pi i into minus 1. And again, double dash value is 0. And next, triple dash value is negative sign. That is z minus pi i whole cube by 3 factorial into minus 1. So, sin z value can be written as, so this is power 1. This is minus if I take common. This will be z minus pi i power 1 by 1 factorial. And z minus pi i whole cube by 3 factorial plus this is z minus pi i power 5 by 5 factorial. If you... Keep on calculating. So, these are all the odd numbers 1, 3, 5. See here 1, 3, 5. If I use this one, this is 1, 3, 5 expansion. This is a plus n minus 1 into d. This is n minus 1 into d and to difference 2. So, 1 plus this is 2n minus 2. So, this will be 2n minus 1 or 2n plus 1. So, you either you can write as 2n minus 1 or 2n plus 1. So, in this, I am going to write this one as, see here, sin hz can be written as, sin hz can be written as minus of, this is a sigma n is equal to, see here, sigma n is equal to 0 to, 
सी हेयर जीरो टू और वन टू दिस इज जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी दैट इज जेड माइनस पाई आई पार दिस इज टू एन प्लस वन बाय दिस वैल्यू इज टू एन प्लस वन फैक्टोरियल फैक्टोरियल सो दिस इज द एक्सपेंशन फॉर साइन हिच जेड सो दिस इज इवन नंबर प्लस वन दिस विल बी ऑड नंबर वन थ्री फाइव सेवन एंड सो ऑन सो दिस इज हाउ वी हैव टू सॉल्व फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एक्सपेंशन ऑफ साइन हिच जेड एंड ए इज गिवन एज pi i so according to the taylor series i am substituting f of z as sin h z and in place of a as pi i so after substituting all the values i need the value of f of pi i f dash of pi i f double dash of pi i and f triple dash of pi i and after making all the derivatives and using this formula that is a sin hyperbolic function of z i can be written as i times of that is normal trigonometric function sin z and here also cos h z i so there is no need of i here right only simple trigonometric function that is cos z so these two formula if i use so i got all the values of f of pi i as 0 of dash of pi i as minus 1 f double dash of pi i as 0 and f triple dash as minus 1 so if i substitute so all the odd numbers remain so in the textbook it is written as 2n plus 1 and this is also 2n plus 1 so even number plus 1 is nothing but odd number so if i keep uh, 0 here this will be 1 if i keep 1 here that is 2 plus 1 3 if i keep uh, so 1 2 2 if i keep 2 this will be 2 plus 1 5 so this satisfies and see here so write this one and this is how we have to solve and if you want you take a screenshot of this for writing the notes i'm keeping like this please take a screenshot and definitely it will be very useful thank you so much for watching and if you really like this video please practice and pass it on to your friends definitely you can score more this is the definite question damn sure question and and i'll be uploading the tyler series of cos hz also in my upcoming videos please have a look at it thank you